Hey guys, Steve Polisi here. I'll be the first to say there's nothing like buying a sparkling new home, especially if you're a first time buyer, because there are a host of financial incentives up for grabs when you buy or build a new place. So if a brand new home is on your wish list, a house and land package could be a hassle-free and affordable option. But buying a new home is of course a major financial decision, so you need to know exactly what you're getting yourself into. To help you decide whether this might be a good option, I'm gonna to use today's video to explain what a house and land package is, how it works, the upsides of buying this way, and some of the potential drawbacks you need to consider. So stay tuned. Right, so what is exactly a house and land package? House and land packages are new properties sold off the plan with a range of customizable home designs to choose from. These properties are usually situated in land estates where property developers purchase land released by the government and set up infrastructure and facilities to create a new community. You can then either buy the property as a complete house and land deal, or you could choose a number of standard or customizable home designs. So that way you can choose the block of land you want and the features you'd like in your new home. Both options could be a very affordable way to enjoy the benefits of a new home. As a guide, in Sydney's southwest, there are 500 square metre lots starting at just under $400,000, with house packages from around the $300,000 mark. So, if you buy a house and land package of, say, $790,000, that's nearly $400,000 below Sydney's median house value of nearly $1.2 million. As I mentioned earlier, you may also be eligible for other savings too. Buying land first and building later provides savings on stamp duty, as duty is only levied on the value of the land. Plus, you can often access financial support from the government, such as the first homeowners grant for newly built homes. But along with the upsides, there's also drawbacks to watch out for. For starters, the package ads may include features like landscaping that come at an extra cost. So you need to ask the builder for a detailed breakdown of what's included in their price you're being quoted, so you know exactly what the money is buying. And even small deviations from the standard design options can significantly push the price up. So it's always important to have a bit of a buffer to handle the extra costs that might pop up. Another thing to consider is that with developers trying to get the most bang for their buck, lot sizes for house and land packages are often smaller than buying land separately. This may mean your house will be smaller than you envisioned or you may not have the backyard you want. And lastly, as house and land packages are often situated in the outer rings of a city or in an area with little infrastructure, the growth in the value of your property will be minimal, at least in the short term. You will also typically pay a premium for securing the nice new shiny home. Just think about how a brand new car is not worth the same in a few years. That means that if you wanted to sell your home within a few years of moving in, you might not make a profit or find many buyers. Either way, while buying land and building separately offers you a great degree of customization and control, house and land packages can take the stress out of the process. So they can be a great way if you're new to the property world to build a home while still offering some sort of say in the process. But remember to watch out for any hidden costs and weigh up the pros and cons before entering into any contracts. If you've bought a house and land package, please feel free to share your pros and cons below. We'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. As an investor myself, my goal has always been to help others achieve their goals of entering the property market. Anyway, folks, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe for more commercial and residential property investment tips and tricks. I'm Steve Polisi, author of Residential Property Investing Explained Simply. Thanks for watching.